Long, long ago in India, there lived a queen who thought that she was the wisest queen there could ever be. The people in her province were rice farmers. The queen decreed that the farmers were to deposit nearly all their rice to her. I will keep the rice safely, she said, so that in times of need, I can supply rice to all of you. In case there's a famine, nobody in my province will ever go hungry. Every year, the queen's rice collectors went from farmer to farmer collecting rice. The farmers gave nearly all their rice and kept just enough to get by. Then one year, the rice grew badly and the farmers had no rice left to give to the queen and they didn't even have enough rice for themselves. There was famine and hunger. ministers implored her, Your Royal Highness, let's open the royal storehouses. You had made a promise to the people, let's give them their rice. Oh no, said the Queen. Promise or no promise, how do I know how long the famine is going to last? And I must keep all the rice for myself because whatever may happen, a Queen can never go hungry. The famine got worse and the people were dying of hunger. And then one day, the queen ordered herself a royal feast because she believed that famine or no famine, a queen must lead a royal life and every now and then have a feast. An elephant carried two baskets full of rice from the royal storehouse to the queen's palace. Just then, Mira, a royal dancer saw that from one of the baskets a trickle of rice was falling out. Apparently, there was a hole in the basket. Meera quickly thought of a clever plan. She ran and started walking beside the elephant and she started collecting the trickling rice in her dupatta. She walked and she smiled for she had thought of a clever plan to trick the queen. Meera carefully collected a handful of rice in her dupatta and she started walking towards the queen's palace. Halt! said the guards. Thief! Are you stealing rice from the storehouse? Oh no! I'm no thief. I'm merely returning what belongs to the queen. You see, there was a hole in one of the baskets and the rice were trickling. I collected all the rice and now I want to return this to the queen. Pretty soon, the queen heard about this honest dancer. I want to meet this girl, Meera. I want to reward her for her honesty. Present Meera before me, boomed the queen. And so, Meera was presented before the queen. for anything today, young girl, and you shall have it. Oh dear Queen, I don't deserve anything at all. I was just returning what belonged to you. That's very modest of you, young girl, but ask me for anything and I shall give it to you. If you must give me something, Your Highness, give me one grain of rice. What did you say? One grain of rice? Are you out of your mind? 
Ask me for anything, young girl, and I shall give it to you. Well, if you must give me something, your highness, then give me one grain of rice today. And then for the next 30 days, you give me double the rice you gave me the day before. So if you give me one grain of rice today, you give me two grains tomorrow, four grains on the third day, and so on and so forth for the next 30 days. The queen seemed baffled. She scratched herself and she said, But that's nothing. It's pittance. Ask me for something else. I'll give you gold. I'll give you money. I'll give you jewelry. No, your highness. I just want this. All right, if you must. That's a very modest reward. But you shall have it. Because a queen always keeps her promise. Meera was given one grain of rice that day. The next day, she got two grains of rice. She got four grains of rice the following day. On the ninth day, Meera received 256 grains of rice. By now, in all, Meera had about 511 grains of rice. Enough to fill a handful. This girl seems to be very silly. She's honest but rather silly. Well, a reward is a reward. And the queen continued sending the rice as promised. On the twelfth day, Meera received 2048 grains of rice. On the thirteenth day, Meera received 4096 grains of rice enough to fill one bowl. On the 16th day, Meera received a bag containing 32,768 grains of rice. Altogether, she had enough rice to fill two bags. This doubling up seems to be a lot more than I had imagined. Nevertheless, the girl shall have her reward. On the 20th day, Meera received 16 more bags filled with rice. And on the 21st day, Meera received 1,048,576 grains of rice, enough to fill one basket. On the 24th day, Meera received 8 million 388,608 grains of rice, equivalent to 8 baskets. 8 royal deer carried the contents to Mira. On the 27th day, 32 bulls were required to carry 64 baskets of rice to Mira. The queen was deeply troubled. One grain of rice has grown too much. Nevertheless, the girl shall get her reward. On the 29th day, the contents of two royal storehouses were sent to Mira. On the 30th and the last day, 256 royal elephants were required to carry the contents of the last four royal storehouses to Meera. She received 536,870,912 grains of rice. In all, Meera received 1 billion grains of rice. By now, the queen had no more rice left to give. What are you going to do with all this rice, Meera? She asked. I will distribute all this rice to the people of your province, the people who are dying of hunger and famine. And I shall leave one basket of rice for you too, Queen, if you promise to mend your ways and never to hold the rice that belongs to the people of your province. The Queen agreed and she realized that all along she had been very greedy and that a simple dancer 
like Meera could trick her into giving away the entire contents of the royal storehouse.